Hey everyone, James here again at Riviera Spa in Dallas, Texas, and I'm here with my beautiful model, Raquel McKinney, and we are doing week three. This is our third facial for Skin Games 2018, where we're participating in the um, pigmentation category. And let's talk about what we did last week, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do uh, this week for Raquel's skin and how we're gonna help her with our pigmentation. So last week we did that Mandela Clear Peel, which is a wonderful um, mid-depth peel. And how did your skin do, Raquel? It was great. It definitely went through the full course of, of getting red and then peeling, and it's, it's so very smooth now. That was Raquel's very first peel that she's ever done, and she did a beautiful job of taking care of it um, and really staying um, adherent to her morning and nighttime regimen. Uh, so we're excited to kind of move this forward uh, a little bit further. So the Mandela Clear is really designed to remove those surface proteins and to induce a controlled wound um, to accelerate that cell turnover and to help to lighten and lift uh, some of Raquel's pigmentation. And it's just really amazing because I can see that um, a lot of that pigmentation is starting to break. Uh, so that's super exciting. Now we, we want to go a little bit gentle this week. We, want, we don't want to force um, her skin to run a marathon if it can only run a mile. So um, what we're going to do this week is to gently um, help clean up some of that dead cellular uh, debris that's left on the skin and to, to heal and hydrate her skin. So um, what we're going to do is start out with the Cocoa Enzyme by Circadia, which is one of my favorite ways to exfoliate the skin. Um, it, it's amazing because you, we can use this on uh, people with up to grade 2 acne. Um, I also use it on a lot of clients with rosacea um, because it really allows the, the skin to exfoliate without adding any kind of additional irritation. And then once we um, do that nice exfoliation for Raquel, we're going to then move into the Marshmallow Hydrating Mask, uh, which is going to hydrate and add some anti-inflammatory uh, to Ra Raquel's skin. So without further ado, um, we'll go ahead and get started. The Almondola Milk Cleanser contains lactic and mandelic acid to brighten, exfoliate, and hydrate the skin, but it also has some oat protein, which is a powerful antioxidant and an anti-irritant. After mixing the cocoa enzyme to a brownie batter consistency, which, by the way, it smells exactly like brownie batter, we'll then apply it to the face, neck, and decollete. I'm now going to cover that with a hot towel and treat Raquel to a nice upper body massage for about 10 to 12 minutes. The cocoa enzyme contains bromelain, papain, and trypsin, which removes keratin buildup and helps to brighten and clarify the skin. Cocoa is also a vasoconstrictor and is very anti-inflammatory. Finally, we use the Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask. This mask delivers a complex blend of hydrating ingredients to infuse critical hydration into the skin while delivering healing and soothing botanicals to improve the overall health of the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up with Raquel and her final steps and then we'll take a little picture and see what her skin looks like um, at the end of her week 3 facial. And then we'll see you back here next week for week 4 which is our halfway point. Um, see you next time. Thank you.